Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can manually trigger a flow in Power Automate. It's a really simple process, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so here we have Power Automate. I have created a test flow right here. If we go into the edit, I'll just show you what this looks like quickly. Uh, it's a very straightforward uh, manual trigger flow. Okay, so we have a manual trigger and we have a compose, which basically is just dumped text down that says it worked. It's not an expression or anything like that. It is very much a very basic flow. But all the purpose of today's tutorial is to show you how that we can actually manually trigger this flow okay so from inside our data of our flow so not the edit screen but you know one level up we can see here that we have all the details of the flow what it's called its status if it's on or off its type it's instant etc and all your previous runs at the top here you have the ability to hit run okay this is actually going to pop up this menu here on the right hand side and you can run the flow from there and that's basically manually triggering the flow so it works right if we click into this latest run we can see that we're going to have the manual trigger with a green tick and then the compose with a green tick where it says it worked okay so that's kind of how you would approach this really simply from this top level now you could also do this from the next level up which is basically a list of all of your flows you hover just above this one here you can see that there's also this run button if we give that a click it's going to pop up on the right hand side and we can run the flow from there as well we can click done Okay, the other way of doing this is to essentially give this little tick box here a tick and then go to run at the top. Again, you're going to end up with run flow. We can run it from the bottom here and click done. Okay, we can click into this flow and we can see now that we have four successfully run flows within Power Automate. Now, there are other ways that you can run this manual flow uh, yourself. Uh, you can run this from other applications. So whether or not you're uh, nesting in... Um, let's say uh, other flows that trigger flows from within uh, you can do that you can also do it a, a manual trigger from inside Excel or Microsoft Teams um, Power BI and so forth there's lots of different integrations now of course this method works on all flows not just flows that are created with manual triggers if there are scheduled flows like this one here I have the ability to also run this automatically and manually myself and again we can tick that box and run it up here okay so this is not specific to manual triggers but obviously if you set something up manually you're going to obviously have to hit that button or hit the run button you know, every time you want to actually trigger it for these automated ones or these scheduled ones you can of course click the run button if something is out of sync and you need to run it for whatever reason you can manually run those scheduled flows as well okay guys it is honestly as easy as that to manually run your flows from Power Automate. If you found this useful, hit that like button, guys. Really appreciate that. Helps spread the content to more like-minded individuals looking to solve certain problems. So if you get those likes up, it obviously helps me help you. So really do appreciate that. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with everything that we do on the channel from tutorial videos and so forth from various different pieces of software, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't done so already, guys, you might find that video right up there. Very interesting. So why don't you give it a click?